Hello, this is Dr. Aletha Tippett, and today we're going to demonstrate application of maggots for debridement therapy. It is November 2011. What you see in front of us is a vial of medical maggots. This is the vial that they are shipped in via FedEx. As you can see on this, there are about 299 larvae in this vial. Now, trying to see them is going to be very difficult because they are very tiny. Hopefully you can see in there little tiny gray specks crawling around. Those are the immature newborn larvae. They have about two to three days to live in this state before they have to eat. Now, the procedure that I'm going to demonstrate now is application of the maggots. We're not going to be looking at a live person getting the maggots on. For the application, I'm going to use a model so that it will be easier to see what we are doing. The main issue with maggot therapy is preparation and having everything ready to go at the time. It makes it very easy. The type of maggot debridement that you're going to be seeing is called free range maggot. That means the maggots are not confined only to the wound. They're placed on the wound, but then they have the freedom to move around the wound if they need to. I use this technique when there is dead tissue or possibly infected tissue around the wound. They will focus primarily on the wound but go to the surrounding tissue as well. Now, I don't have a foot on a leg so we're going to use a roll of canvas here as our foot and leg and drawn on that is a wound. You can see it's red, bloody, with necrosis in it, just the kind of wound you'd want to use maggots on. Maggots eat infected and dying tissue. So the next thing to show you is how the maggots are placed on this wound. It's a very easy step-by-step -step procedure and we will go through it. Once we're done with this, the next phase will be showing removal of the maggots and this will actually be from a live person. Once the maggots are placed on, they are removed after 48 hours. That gives them enough time to eat most of what they need to eat, yet they're not quite ready to leave the wound so we can take them out rather than having them try to escape once they're more than full. Okay, we will continue forth pretty soon here. Since we will be putting our maggots on a foot wound, please imagine this as a foot, the supplies that we will need include a nylon footie. These are the simple little nylon footies that you can buy at the drugstore or the grocery store. Now you will see we will cut this elastic band off because we don't want that to be too tight on the leg. Other things we will need will be a piece of muslin in this case or it also could be chiffon. When the maggots are first applied, as you saw, they are very small and they will, they're too little, they can go through the pores of the nylon. So the muslin will be our way to keep them in the wound until they get a little bigger. We will also need tape. Now the tape can be your choice. My favorite is silk tape which I have here. You could also use cloth tape. You need to make sure that your tape is going to stick. 
This is one of the few times that I will apply tape to the skin to hold the maggots in place. Then you'll also need gauze pads. So here are some 4x4 four four gauze pads. You also need a Curlix wrap of some sort to tie it in place. And with that, we will proceed. Okay, now that we have all our supplies together and our patient is ready, we're ready to proceed. Now remember I said we don't want this elastic on here, so I'm going to cut this. We don't have the elastic that's going to compress on the leg. I just make sure this is going to be loose enough to put over the foot and leg. Okay, now we're ready to put our maggots on. I have my piece of muslin and here are our maggots. Now this wound is about two by three centimeters, six square centimeters. I need 10 maggots per square centimeter. So I need 60 maggots for this wound. Now I'm using free range, so I want more maggots than that so that I have enough to go around the wound. Now, you remember my vial had 299, so I need about a third of the maggots who are in this. So I estimate, and it's not easy, I certainly do not count them, I can barely see them. So I know there's 300 and I estimate about a third, and there's a piece of gauze in there that I can scoop them up on. Hopefully you can see them crawling around the gauze. And what I do is put them maggot side down into the wound. All right now the maggots are going to want to go into the wound, so I don't need to worry about them getting away. Now if I would lose some of them at this stage on the table or floor, they will die. They will not live unless they get something to eat. Next, I put my muslin on there to keep the maggots in there until they get a little bigger. Then as they crawl around, they won't go through my nylon. Now here's where I put my nylon over the foot and leg to hold my maggot dressing in place. Okay, now at this point, I take my gloves off because I'm handling this tape. Now, the, sometimes I cut my tape ahead of time so I have all my strips ready to go. And I don't ever tape circumferentially, but tape small pieces around. And I'll do this. To completely tape this border onto the leg all the way around. Now my maggots are in this sock here and they're not going to be able to get out. I've taped around the top so if they did try to crawl out they can't get out. And that's the important thing here. Now they make lots of drainage so my next step is to put gauze over where I put the maggots and then I take a Curlix, a gauze wrap, and I wrap it in place. Now this, in about 8 to 12 hours, we should start seeing drainage coming through this and I will tell my patient to change this every 8 hours as needed due to drainage. I've had patients go to work with their maggot dressing in place. You really can't even tell it's there under clothes. Now the maggots, as I said, will be done eating in 48 to 72 hours. So I will take this dressing off in 48 hours so that they're not trying to escape. 
Now, when I take them off, it will not be on our canvas log here. It will be on a real patient's foot. Okay, today we're going to take maggots off of this patient. The maggots have been there for 48 hours, actually maybe 50 hours. They were put on two days ago, and now we'll be taking them off. Okay, so we're going to... Did you have a lot of drainage? Well, no, this is the one you put on. This is the one I put on, all right? So we haven't even changed this dressing. So this patient has severe ischemic vascular disease with gangrene on the foot. You might be able to see on part of the foot over here, some of the drainage. Can you see that on the camera? You might have to bring come over here and see it because it's on this side. You want to stop back up. So you can see a little bit of brown drainage here. Now typically with a big wound there will be lots of drainage. It'll be black, green, brown. In this case, because we have dry gangrene and ischemia, I would not expect a lot of drainage and we have not had a lot of drainage. If you have a lot of drainage, you might be changing this outer dressing every six to eight hours, but this one hasn't been changed at all. How's the pain been with this? Well, last night was my worst night. Last night, which would have been the second, third, yeah. The third, second night. The second night was the worst, and where did it hurt? Right up. Right there, oh my toe. Right here, uh -huh. by your little toe? Uh -huh. Now this, we're gonna see what happens. I'm always anxious, even though I've done maggots for 10 years, you never really know what you're going to find. She had a little toe that was about ready to come off. And we think our maggots will do the trick. Okay, stop. Okay. All right, so, did you, your pain was in that little toe? Yeah, uh, no, just... No, above yeah, it? Uh, running right through it. Okay. Now, the way I do this is I put my biohazard bags under the area, and I will peel the dressing off into the biohazard bag. Okay, you can see we've got um, fairly mature maggots still in there. Can you zoom in on that mm -hmm. and get a good view? Come in directly from the front so you can see this. Okay, we're zooming in a little bit so you can see this. There's our mature maggots still squirming around. This is the value of taking them off after 48 hours. Okay, now we're going to try to get these little fellows off. Now this toe, remember I told you, was about ready to go and he might be completely ready here. We'll see. You can see the maggots have gone way down in there. You okay? Mm -hmm. Not hurting you? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. What I'm looking for is a Q-tip so I can help. Don't be in there, but take it on off. Well, he may be ready to come. We may just be able to snip him right out of there. Does that hurt when I push him? Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, he might be ready to go. So that toe was completely gangrenous and necrotic, and we knew he needed to go, and we thought this would be one of our best ways to do it. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit of saline here. 
and flush them out a little bit. what we and well they really liked your toe they didn't go anywhere else mm -hmm. they're just right here at the toe and your toes gone okay actually I'm gonna change my gloves just a second I'm gonna get some scissors and we'll just snip. It's not even the bone, it's just a little bit of um, tissue. tissue, thin tissue that's still holding it. So we'll get some scissors here and just Can snip you that. Get it? You didn't bring on that spray? What's that? Bring no spray today. You didn't need spray. You won't need spray for this because that tissue's dead. It doesn't have any feeling. Okay. So let me put some new gloves on and we'll just snip him off. Now we have to keep an eye that our maggots don't leave our little bag here. <laughs> now you might remember I said when I was putting new maggots in that if they fell they would die. But these little guys, if we lose them, in a week or so you'll have a fly. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so, and you know, they're nice flies. <laughs> They're pretty. Boo. Your head's in the way. You okay? Boo. Your head's in the way. Boo. Is it hurting? No. A little bit, yeah. A little bit, but not mm. much. Mm -mm. Okay. It's just like... <clears throat> okay, he's gone. Mm. He gone, gone. Mm. Do you nice. see him? That's mm. our fifth toe. We we got him. Never. Yep, we got him. Okay, mm -hmm. now our little friends here don't have much to work on. So come on out. <laughs> now sometimes they, I mean they don't. I'm glad I brought the scissors because there's, this is just loose tissue here. Sometimes they'll hide down in there, and if you just wait long enough, they will come out. Let's see if anybody else is in here. You okay with your leg? Uh -uh. Mm. Uh. Mm. Okay, let's mm. pause a second. Yeah, that'll be tender way down in there. Um, I'm just going to work a little bit more here and see if I can get these guys all out, okay? They're, they would have about another 24 hours before they would have to come out. They wouldn't stay at all. They're still eating a little bit. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so they, they, they would stay, but they would have to come out by tomorrow. So we're going to take them today if we can get them all out. And I don't even know if you got them all out. Well, that's always the question. How do you know you got them all out? You, you know you got them all out when you don't see anymore. Well, yeah, that too. And you, well, you hope yeah. you got them all out. That's Whoa. tissue. That's I don't see any more. Oh. Do you see any more? Okay. Get into the tender part. All right. Mm. Well, now our next step is to we won't do anything here. Mm. Okay. We got all of them out that we see. Do we see any on the floor anywhere? I hope not. I hope not either. <laughs> if you find them, just squish them, okay? Just, just think, it's just a fly. It's just a baby fly. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Come on out.
out, you little rascal. Now, if perchance there's one or two left in here that I don't see and don't have out that was hiding, if you see someone coming out, mm -hmm. sorry. I ain't gonna see it. Don't well, <laughs> if, if one comes, if you would find it's one. It's gonna be banged up. Yep, and hopefully there'll be nothing. <laughs> I, I one time had a patient went to the ER right after we'd taken the maggots off. And he was in the ER and there was a maggot crawling on him. The nurse got really scared. <laughs> oh, right here. But sometimes, I mean, they try to run away when you're taking them off. But if you just wait, they'll, they'll crawl out. You'll see them. <laughs> but the worst that happens is in a week you'll have a pretty green fly flitting around. You have to cut that I should always give a fly sweater when I do maggots. Yeah, eleven. This is not fun. No, I'm sorry. All right, we're going to dress this up now. Oh, I don't, shouldn't be taking my gloves off. Hopefully I brought extras. But um, I'm going to use a medicated hydrogel and just fold it into that area there and wrap a gauze around it, okay? I'm just going to use a simple dressing that we haven't used, and then we'll put betadine on these dry areas here. We can see that the maggots did nothing here. These were free range, but they really focused on the fifth toe where they had a lot of food to work with, okay? And really cleaned it up nicely. We have some dead tissue here, which will slough off. We have some nice pink tissue here, okay? And it hurts her for me to touch it, so I better stop doing that, okay? That's going to heal just like that, huh? That'll heal. It'll close over. I would ex What I expect this to do is just heal up, and it'll look like you just never had a fifth toe, mm -hmm. is what it'll look like. I could show you pictures of other people who've had this done, and um, it looks very nice when we're all done. <laughs> okay, our next step, uh, we've been waiting a few minutes and we don't see anyone else poking their head out. Now let's wait a few minutes. Please. Go away. <laughs> Please. Go away. You know that electrical stimulation we do? Uh -huh. Well, sometimes we'll use that, and that makes them come out, too. No. They don't like that electricity. Mm -hmm. but I, th I think you're done. Now, this is a fairly small wound, so I'm going to use half of my 4x4 four four dressing here. Okay. And... That will work. Now this, my dressing's pretty wet, so what I'm going to do is put a little bit of zinc oxide ointment around it to protect the skin around the wound mm -hmm. from the moisture. Okay, we have our dressing on. I want to take this glove off because it got the zinc on it and change that glove. Now that's, I think I'll put a dry gauze over that. And I'm going to put betadine on those toes, and mm -hmm. then I'll wrap everything. Everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
and this will be good until Tuesday. Tuesday. Now you go to dialysis Monday, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wouldn't that be funny if uh, one of your maggots came out? <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy a little change of pace. No. <laughs> yeah, let's let them have fun. <laughs> no, I mean, no fun. Yeah. I throw one on them. <laughs> I think they would enjoy that. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> you think it's so funny? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who would have thought that maggots were so much fun? <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't too bad, was it? No. No. I and thought we were just going to fall out in the bin. <laughs> and it. Okay. Nope. Mm. Roll, kid. Huh? Now, do you want a sock on this? How do you? I mean, I have to put a, put a sock over the end of it. Yeah, you can I have a sock. I got some half a sock. I think this sock we can put on there. We can then I'll find one for this. We can have a sock on there. Now, where did I put my tape? Let me see if I have some tape here. I sure do. I might have a piece of stock in that, but if you have a sock, that'll work great. This, this half a sock is clean. I just rather put it on there. Okay, do you have one? For I me? have another one in there. Okay. In the drawer, my sock drawer. That's what you put on when we when we baited on your toes, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you can put that on here. Okay. All right, so we'll clean up and hold that on. Sure. Okay. Looks good. Look good to me. All that pain. Yeah, one thing I didn't do was take a picture of you when I took that toe off. I... Okay, we're all finished wrapping up, and here's the foot with a sock on it. And the patient's telling me she has no pain. What did you tell me it felt yeah. like? Yeah. What did it? What did you tell me it felt? Like feels like a foot. Mm -hmm. No more pain. Mm -mm. That's wonderful. No more pain. That's excellent. So we're very happy with that. And as I explained, the maggots not only debride, which they did very nicely in this case, they also secrete growth factors, and the wound should heal very nicely. Thank you much, and you have a great day. Thank you, and bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>